Hey guys, and welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Christia Parker, and now joining me in the studio is Hakeem Mitchell. He is the CEO and founder of ACOP. Can you tell us what ACOP stands for? ACOP stands for Assisting Children of Prison Parents. Wow. All right, now can you tell us a little bit about your program, how you got started, and why you felt that there was a need for you know assistance for children whose parents are incarcerated? Okay, sure. Um, I actually was a, a, a parent of a child who uh, was a prison parent, child of a prison parent. I was, a, I was in prison. Uh -huh. I was in, incarcerated for 10 years. And uh, while I was there, I was reaching out to my children in prison and I realized that had an effect on them. Mm -hmm. And some of the guys that was there who didn't have a relationship with their children, I seen how that was affecting them. Mm -hmm. So the passion grew while I was there. And then when I got released in 2006, I kind of got distracted, was doing a couple of other things, but God brought me back to his vision for me, for my life in 2008, and that's when I founded ACOP on July 2nd. Awesome. Now, what does ACOP do? What are you guys, what's your organization? Basically, in a nutshell, we maintain a relationship with a child and their incarcerated parent okay. until the parent is released. And we do that by letter writing, okay. phone calls, and visitations. Okay. Now, if there is a child who um, needs that assistance, is there any way that they can contact you all? Yep, a few ways. You know, we all over the internet, like Facebook, Twitter. Mm -hmm. You can actually go to our website, which is acop.org, A-C-O-P-P.org. Mm -hmm. Or you can call us on uh, my secretary line is 314-702-3200, 314-702-3100. And I withhold my cell phone number because I get a <laughs> lot of calls already. <laughs> now, you said that you saw that you keeping in contact with your children made an impact. What kind of impact did you see? Um, that was made and why do you think it's important for parents who are incarcerated to keep that contact with their children? Well, uh, some, something <laughs> simple that I was doing with my daughter while she was there, while I was there, uh, I taught her French. Oh, wow. And that was one of the ways that we communicated and kept the communication going. She was saying a word, I sent her a word, she was saying a word back and we will communicate like that. And that was a way to, you know, to keep the interest mm -hmm. of her alive in her. And when I got out, she now she went to France, you know wow. what I'm saying? Because that, that made her inspired you know, uh -huh. by me teaching her French from inside. She wanted to go to France where French is spoken on a regular basis. So uh -huh. that was, that's one of the ways that you know, I, I think that um, uh, collaborating or, or keeping the lines of co communication consistent right. with building a relationship. Right, how many, how many children have you guys serviced so far? Well, we right in now we have like 25 children enrolled in our program. Mm -hmm. And it's on and off, it's on and off basis because it's, it's really keeping the parents involved. Right. The children are willing. You okay. got to keep the parents involved and bringing them. Okay, so how do you do that with the parents? We provide other resources to them, like we uh, have opportunity uh, sources. We have a credit repair specialist on our board of directors who repairs their credit mm -hmm. and helps them get a job or help them get a car or help them get a place to stay. That always helps. And then we have a tax specialist on our board of directors who helps keep their taxes in line. So okay. we offer some incentives for them to stay engaged. That's a great thing that you're doing. Now your hat here, if you take a look at this hat, I really like this hat. It has STL. Um, and then it has an ACOP symbol. Is that your symbol there? Yes, Tell right. us, how, how did you come up with that? Well, I, I kind of <laughs> wanted to um, merge the, the police force because uh -huh. we got, the, in, in the black community, we kind of stand office to the police. Mm -hmm. But we realize that the police is necessary in our community. Without them, it'd be like anarchy. It'd be mm -hmm. un uncontrollable chaos. So I wanted to make a way where to make the police more friendly to us. So when they see the police, they won't get such a, you know, a, a, a bad feeling, bad mm -hmm. vibe. And then we want to be like police for our people. We want to be getting, get a call and say, well, come to the scene before the actual police get there and maybe we can defuse the situation mm -hmm. because usually nine times out of ten, they come and then somebody will get locked up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I wanted to make a friendly, friendly, more friendly approach. And how has the community um, accepted that? They accepted it very well. Okay. They accepted it very well with the smiley man. The children really love it. Uh -huh. So it's a good thing. That's awesome. You guys, we have so much more coming up with Haki Mitchell. He's not just um, the CEO and founder of this org great organization, but he, he has an artistic side as well. He is a spoken word artist, and he's going to tell us about that um, coming up. But you guys, to keep up with STL TV and all the great events going on here, make sure you friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can always catch us streaming live at STL TV. Net. Keep it locked right here. We'll, we'll be right back with more.
Hey everyone, welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Christia Parker here hanging out with Haki Mitchell, the founder and CEO of a great organization that keeps children um, in contact with their parents who are incarcerated. He's not just that founder and CEO, but he's also an artist, a spoken word artist. Yes. Can you give us a little taste of something, some of the stuff that you do? I sure can. Uh, I have a poem that I wrote called AUCM2, and it means black man in Swahili. And it goes, black man, black man, where did you all go? I look, but can I see your face through your tinted windows? Doors locked, clutching a Glock, scanning for the popos. Navigating down lifeless blocks, oblivious to your own personal potholes. Yeah, I know you're too bold, chasing that fool's gold, and too hard and too strong twofold. But just know the streets are cold, and this heart's been froze, and it's still gonna move on when you long, long gone. Black man, black man, where did you all go? Burial plots and cell blocks, a future vacationing spot for lost souls. Right. Now, you, you have an organization, another organization that's looking for um, oh, spoke our poets and artists like that. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Are you looking for... Yeah, I have a, a management and promotion company called <coughs> IE Square, and IE stands for Instant Example of an Impression Everlasting. And then you know when you square something, you give it more power in mathematics. Mm -hmm. So it's a promotion and management company. We're always looking for spoken word poets. We're looking for gospel artists. We try to stay away from the hardcore rap, but if you're a gospel rapper, that's fine. So we're always looking for new and innovative talent. And where can we find that information if someone's interested in doing that? On my website, ACOP.org ACOP. is on the website. Okay, so all of it's encompassed in yep. ACOP.org. Yep, I'm all in one. Awesome. You're also an author, right? Yep, I okay. wrote a book. The book is called Look Deep Into My Soul. It's my first book. And I'm writing children's stories. I'm just trying to do a lot to just get my message out there and just of hope, love, and, you know, God. So how did how you were locked up for how many years? Ten years. Ten years. How did you? How did that experience change you? And how um, your vision for other people? What's your vision for other people who come out of prison and can maintain a successful life like you have? Well, I think what prison did was it detached me from what I was was taught, mm -hmm. what I was basically brainwashed with. It detached mm -hmm. me, gave me a time to sit down and find myself, reconnect myself to God, mm -hmm. and basically just just rebuild myself, mold myself into what I thought that God wanted me to be. And when I came out, I had, I had a, a desire to connect the children to their parents that was incarcerated because I left a lot of good guys there. Mm -hmm. So it's, everybody who's not in jail is not a bad person. They just made a mistake. And we cannot con condemn them for that. So mm -hmm. I just came out here and I encourage everybody just, you know, do what God wants you to do. Don't do what man wants you to do. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming by. Mm -hmm. You guys, for more information on Hakeem Mitchell and everything that he has going on, please visit his website at acop.org. Um, you guys, to keep up with STL TV and all the great events going on in St. Louis, friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can always catch us streaming live at stltv.net. We got a lot coming up, so stay tuned.